Hi guys, Devil XYZ, and we're back with Star Wars Episode 1, Jedi Power Battles. And we are down to the final level. Yeah, it's come a long way. <laughs> Honestly, really itself, it didn't take too long to really go through this game. Uh, well, I mean, granted, I had to replay some of the levels because the game kept freezing. But either case, final battle. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's Darth Maul versus Darth Maul. <laughs> Final battle, defeat Darth Maul as Darth Maul. Who's going to be the better Darth Maul? <laughs> it's my doppelganger, but better. Come on, he has a double-bladed saber. <laughs> I wish I can get double bladed. <laughs> Alright. Really, the key thing to this fight is trying to be the first one to strike first and be fast with it. Ah! I mean, just keep doing the same combo over and over. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's like, I guess I could keep repeatedly uh, use my attacks. Ugh, okay. Hmm. Now, I gotta say, even though we're supposed to be still back at the palace, it kind of feels more like we're in a space station. <laughs> Alright. Because <laughs> I really wouldn't expect anything less for the final fight. <laughs> or final fights, I should say. <laughs> The battle is just gonna keep going over and over. <laughs> keep attacking. Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's running off. That's nice. Come back. I want to be your friend. <laughs> Alright. Well, obviously I need that health. Bad. <laughs> okay. Of course there's a challenge icon. Why in the world would I get that in this level? <laughs> Again, the other problem is at this point I would have had some health upgrades, some force power upgrades. To Let me through some of this. <laughs> what was that? Dude, he's, he can like, well technically he has an infinite jump, <laughs> he can infinitely jump as much as he wants. I think that's kind of cheap. <laughs> why, why can't I get these powers? You know, actually, I think I read that if you have the Game Shark, you could technically play as the double-bladed Darth Maul with the infinite jumps. <laughs> Although, I think it makes the game unstable, unfortunately. I don't know. I was wondering when I'm gonna get a checkpoint. <laughs> Technically, I went through like three phases of the fight. <laughs> Making my rounds. I'll take that. <laughs> I 
That was one long elevator ride. Okay. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, so not only have to platform, I have to platform across deadly beams. <laughs> it's a whole lot better. Oh. Right. Oh, okay. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shoot. Whoa. Good thing there was a checkpoint. <laughs> Ugh, oh, okay. Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I don't think about it. I died by how exactly? Okay. Careful. Don't get. Well, technically, I don't think I'm going to be dead if I fall. It's just the blades are going to push me up into the ceiling and kill me that way. All right. That's nice. I can't quite really see. I've got to judge my shadow, I guess. You know, I don't really remember this part being in the movie, <laughs> where I had to navigate across deadly fans. <laughs> All right. Step by step. <laughs> I gotta be going left, right? <laughs> What's about the color coded rooms? <laughs> what? Red? It's going for a rainbow effect or what? Okay. Uh, so I guess here there's like a color combination I gotta get through. To yellow. Green. Blue. Not 
right? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. Almost had it. Brain. Blue. Luckily, there's no indigo. This way. Right? Lasers or what? On fire. Okay. Well, I was on fire. What do you want? <laughs> oh. All right. Phase four, right? Ah, oh, come on. Uh, this place looks familiar. <laughs> oh, God. Can't see. <laughs> Can you get closer to me? <laughs> You're like way at the bottom of the screen. Almost got this. Ah, okay. Keyboard was almost. Hey, I did it. <laughs> Right. Oh, well, there you have it. <laughs> Took some effort, a little bit of luck, <laughs> but I managed to get through it. All right, well, I'll put that as a plus for me. <laughs> managed to beat this game using Darth Maul. Now, if only I can beat it with the, uh, well, I guess. Queen Amidala and, and the pilot <laughs> would be a different that'd be a different story. I don't know how that would be possible. <laughs> and we get an ending cutscene. <laughs> Granted, I really wish I could have thrown in Darth Maul there just for the just for the hell of it. <laughs> Where do you have done defeating this Sith Lord? Difficult it was. But never only one Sith can there be. Always two there are. No more, no less. A master and an apprentice? Destroy one you have, but one yet lives. Celebrate your victory, but forget not that other conflicts remain. Hmm. Foreshadowing. Well, it's going into the next few movies in the prequel series. Well, at least that's another game for another time. Possibly. 
All right. Well, <laughs> I guess there you have it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in, in terms of story-wise, this game, it, it's loosely based off of Episode 1. Not, not by a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, it hits the key points of the film for the most part. So, well, yeah, I mean, it kind of did. Granted, it, it kind of threw in a lot of... Um, uh, take a lot of liberties to do some original levels, I guess, <laughs> kind of outside the movie itself. But I think it's somewhat worked. Uh, I guess in terms of game, though, uh, the whole arcade aspect to this, I'd say, is... I mean, it works for the most part. Um, I mean, the thing is, though, I, I'm not really a huge fan of the fact that... I mean, it seemed like hit detection was always off at times, especially when you're going up against bosses. Like, it seemed like no matter how much you swing your saber, it seems to always miss contact. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do like the force powers. They were pretty useful. Although, unfortunately, they drain... Uh, their force energy drains pretty quickly, so, like, you have to kind of use them sparingly. Uh, and then, of course, there were the weird glitches that can happen, I, I guess. Well, I don't know, I guess in my case, the game froze multiple times. I don't know if it's because of this disc, or maybe the game itself. I don't really remember. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to assume it's probably my disc, even though this is supposed to be a better copy, like I said beforehand, than my original copy of the game. <laughs> uh, I mean, this game can be played two players, so I, I have tried it with two players. I've never been able to beat it with two players, but it is possible. <laughs> Although, I would say... It, Probably would make the game a little bit harder considering you do have limited lives. And again, this was done on the on Jedi difficulty, so it's <laughs> it wasn't like it was easy to get through. <laughs> it wasn't impossible, but it wasn't easy either. It was like middle of the road. But I mean trying to do it with two players though, where you have to kind of share lives, that makes it even more tougher, <laughs> in my opinion. And actually speaking of that aspect, even though I didn't show it, the thing was with when it comes to co-op, uh, the thing I don't like about co-op version is just you have a proximity meter, so to speak. Like, if your partner is off-screen for a certain time period, they can actually automatically die, which I really hate that. I mean, it's kind of hard to really control it when, you know, both you and your partner are just going off in different directions at moments. Or at times where the camera just doesn't seem to really, uh, uh, the camera doesn't really seem to help you out. And actually, I guess along with that, it's just the camera itself it needs work. I mean, there are some instances where I can't quite tell half the time if I'm going to even make jumps. So I'm just kind of almost a leap of faith here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but after all of that, at the end of the day, though, I'd, I'd say this is not that bad. Uh, granted, though, I think this game is... I think this game was also available on what was it, the Dreamcast or something? Or I don't remember what the other console was. I think I think it had to be the Dreamcast. Let me check actually. <laughs> yeah, PlayStation, Dreamcast, Game Boy Advance. Well, why in the world would you play this on the Game Boy Advance? <laughs> But I don't know. I never really tried the Dreamcast version, but I think it, I think it could actually play better. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my opinion anyway. I think that I kind of think the Dreamcast version is supposed to be a little, the better version. <laughs> so I guess I got sloppy seconds here. Um. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, I don't think there was. It is. Was there even a sequel to this? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't really remember there being a sequel to this game. Huh. Yeah, I, I really don't remember. Either case, yeah, there you have it. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of credits. <laughs> Considering this game didn't seem that, you know, that difficult to really make it. And also the fact that there, weren't any, there wasn't even many uh, cutscenes. Thinking about it. Besides the intro, they had the that small cutscene in level 8, and then of course the ending cutscene, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> Honestly, there's not really much of a story here, it's just bare bones. 
But, I mean, I guess if you actually saw the first movie, you kind of get the idea. <laughs> uh, alright. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think that is honestly it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so... I mean, the fact that we are done with the game is one thing, but there's still a little bit more to go. Uh, some extra things. <laughs> well, we'll jump into that in some other video. Alright guys, it's Devil Hunter XYZ, and until next time.